Hello everyone, thank you for watching CCN Crown City News, your news, your neighborhood. I'm Sunita Joshua Madison, glad to be back. Our top story, the Pasadena Unified School District is looking into consolidating and possibly closing several of its schools. And as you can imagine, there are plenty of parents, teachers, and students who are not very happy with the decision. CCN's Natalie Tavidian is here live with the story. Natalie? I know this is uh, very heated, so what can you tell yeah. us about? Um, Sadina, in a series of meetings, the PUSD School Consolidation Committee will narrow down their list of seven schools on the possible chopping block. The committee says it needs to save money, and this is one way the PUSD plans to do that. But some parents, teachers, and students are fighting to keep their schools open in this education dilemma. My concern is for the children and where they would go. Martha escaval -Lu is a parent of a former PUSD student who says her daughter's success is the product of hard-working PUSD teachers. My daughter is um, uh, in her freshman year at college. Um, she's at MIT. And um, by no means was her path to MIT a, an easy one. She couldn't read in second and third grade. Sorry. And... Um, the teachers at our school, our special ed teachers, and the schools that she had been at, they worked really hard to get her where she was. PUSD has put together a consolidation committee to decide which out of the seven elementary schools will either be shut down or merged. Schools on the chopping block are Burbank, Field, Norma Coombs, Loma Alta, Roosevelt, San Rafael, and Jackson. Parents of students at these schools say they're worried and want answers. Why do we have to pit schools against each other and, and it turns into a tag team where everybody's screaming, not my school? Consolidation Committee Chair John Furman says cuts are necessary. The school district has lost over $25 million in the last couple of years uh, because of the state budget cuts. So as the state has less money, the district has less money. Uh, so we have to cope. Furman says the choice has been very difficult. He says while there may be strong arguments for keeping each school open, the committee still has to present their recommendations to the superintendent. It's a tough process. No one likes to go through this. It's a wrenching process. As they await the committee's decision, parents say they're anxious about where their children will go next fall. We want what's best for our kids. And I got to tell you, if my, if my school's closed, I'm gone. I'll, I'll go live in a closet in Arcadia. The committee will present their recommendations to the superintendent and the school board will have the final say. Community forums are scheduled for tonight, Monday, October 4th from 6.30 to 8.30 and Friday, October 8, 6 to 8 p.m., both at Elliott Middle School. School officials say parents will have information about their children's school by December and can begin to make plans for the 2011-2012 school year. Well, thanks for that report, Natalie. We're definitely yeah. going to be keeping our ears open to see what they have to say. You can visit the Pasadena, get more information at PUSD.org to find out more information about school consolidations and the closure process. Mad doctors, a group of doctors called mad as hell, say the health care system is broken and that they are not happy with the current law of the land. They say health care reform did not go far enough and they want a single-payer universal health care system for all. They're touring California right now and made a stop in Pasadena's Memorial Park this past weekend. CCN's Connie Tran was there. A group of doctors from California and Oregon gathered here today at Pavilion Park to tell residents of Pasadena why they're mad as hell. Mad as hell doctors, the roots of mad as hell doctors actually started about four years ago when um, as an emergency physician uh, my job was driving me crazy, literally. We're doing Paul Hotchfeld says mad as hell doctors is made up of physicians who are angry at the health care system. What I found was we don't have a health care system. We have a sick care non-system. And we waste 20 to 25 percent of all of our health care resources servicing the insurance industry. Dozens who came out to support the doctors said they too were mad as hell about health care. We need to be aware that health care is a right and that the present way that health care is delivered we're not getting our value for our dollars. Many people expressed their frustrations on stage, including this singer, who urged that now was the time for change. 
Now's the time to wake up this nation. Now's the time for we the people. I've cared most of my time for individuals of low and middle income. As these plans came in, I never refused to care for anyone. I always felt that every human being deserved medical care. Hotchfeld says he hopes this event gives local people intellectual tools, insight, and courage to talk to their neighbors and continue the dialogue about health care. This health care bill that, that got passed isn't going to fix it, so we're still mad as hell. To find out more information on the organization Mad as Hell Doctors, visit their website www.madashelldoctors.com. In Pasadena, Connie Tran, CCN. While the Mad as Hell Doctors say the new health care law doesn't go far enough towards single payer universal health care, plenty of others say it goes too far. Republicans vow to repeal the new health care law if they take control of Congress, and they advocate instead for things like insurance company competition across state lines and allowing small businesses to pool their resources to buy lower cost health insurance. So we'll be finding out about that. Watch how you can park near schools in Arcadia. Rose Court finalists will soon be announced and mentoring troubled young men next on CCN Crown City News. Your news, your neighborhood. Don't go away.